Good morning. This is how to use the TechSoft software to produce 2D design drawings. First of all, what you'll need to do is to set up your screen ready for the laser cutter. So the bed defaults to a certain size. You will need to change that. So if you go into the word set up at the top, one of the options into drawing and layout, you then need to set the bed for the correct size. Select user defined, which means that we are going to define what the size is. And you need to change this material size to 600 millimeters by 400 millimeters. Change that around so it matches this and press OK. That now is the maximum size of the printer bed that you can use to laser cut things out. Using the tools down the left hand side, you can see I've just moved the toolbox across so that we can see it a bit easier. There is a, a line drawing tool here. This is the one that we're going to use. If you right click on the options here, this gives you further choices. So, for example, here I can determine the length of the line that I want to draw and the angle we want to draw it at. So, for example, if I wanted to draw a 20 centimeter line, I would need to make sure I draw that in millimeters. So that's 200 millimeters. And when I click that on the screen, it will draw a 20 centimeter line. If I right click on the line drawing and do the same thing again, but this time put in 90 degrees, then of course it will draw that angle at a different angle. So this is a quick and easy way of making sure that your lines are the right size. Something else you can do here is use the grid lock. So if I use the grid lock, when we draw our drawing, it will make sure that these lines snap to those particular lines. It's another good way of making sure that your drawing is accurate. So again, if I put the 200 into here, and draw on here, it's going to start drawing from one of the boxes on one of the lines. It's going to snap it to the grid. Now, this is only really good if you're going to be doing this with regular even numbers. If you're using odd numbers, it's a bit hard to snap it onto the grid. But if you're using even numbers, then this is a much, much easier way of doing it. So you can repeat this process to make sure that you're drawing your object, drawing it accurately. Got a couple of tools there to help you do that so that you can draw your shape. Now, to laser cut, we need to change the color of the instructions. So I'm going to select the whole box here. The first thing I'm going to do before I do that is I'm also going to group this object. So if you go into the edit option and go into group, it groups the whole object so that now this is now a complete square. So wherever I try and move this, it doesn't move individual lines. It's going to retain that shape as always. So I can move that, stick it up there, and make sure that it is completely together. Going into color, I need to make sure that the color for this is red. This is a cutting line, remember. An instruction for the laser to cut this out is in red. If I was to change this into black, this would be engraving only. So red for cut black for engraving on all the other colors don't have an instruction so you could use the other colors as guides if you wanted to okay so I've got my red now it's important when you cut these shapes out that you tessellate them as much as you can onto your sheet so my second box is I'm going to put over here okay again this is snapping on the grid a bit I'm going to tessellate it as close as I can if you want to turn your grid off at any time you can do over here so, so this enables me to be a bit more precise about where I put this. You can see now it's no longer snapping onto the grid and I can move it a little bit closer. You are able to put your objects on the bed quite close together. I wouldn't put them right next to one another. What tends to happen is when the laser cuts the wood, it tends to burnish the wood and leave a slight burn mark around the edge. So I would just slightly offset that to give you a bit of space between the materials. But put them as close together as you can to maximize the use of the room material. Remember, this whole bed here is the size of the piece of material that we're working on. So it's important that we use as much of it as possible. And continue until you fill your page up. Once you need to have another sheet, you can also start and get yourself a second sheet if you need to and save that too. But make sure that you save your work once you've finished it before we get ready to laser cut. One more thing you would need to do that doesn't apply in this instance because I use the grid to snap this on is just to make sure there are no gaps in the corners. If you freehand draw a shape, sometimes the edges don't connect. 
please make sure that there are no gaps because obviously if this gets on the laser cutter and there's a gap there, then this material will not cut out properly. So just make sure that your object is stuck together and has no gaps.